It's time for cats and comic hauls. Which one you prefer? I'll leave that up to you. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to We Love Comics. And boy, have I got a tale for you. And we got a comic haul. And my cat is uh, wanting to be on camera. So let's get him to say hello really quick because he's in one of his moods. This is one of my cats. His name is <laughs> Orgon, and uh, he's a ham, all right. All three of my cats are strays that uh, we picked up, and uh, they're doing well. So some of my subscribers always appreciate when my comics, when my cats make their comic book cameo debuts. So hopefully those people enjoyed that. And I got some comics for you. Took a little while before I can get enough comics to do a comic book haul. So some of these have been out for a while. Some of these have been out for a long while because the books range from modern books all the way back to the Silver Age. So let's get into it. But before I do, as always, please make sure you wait until the end of the video to see who is today's surprise subscriber shout out. And if you want to be one of those, you just have to be a subscriber. And if you ask for one, I will write your name down. Just keep in mind, it will take a little while. All right. So this one is totally speculation, but the price you'd pay for it, it's worth it for me. So... Here's a book you might want to check out, and let me zoom in a little bit so you get a better look. This is Avengers Forever, issue number one. Now, there have been rumors that um, Avengers 4, which was originally going to be called Infinity Gauntlet, but um, one of the uh, characters actually leaked that out, so they might change it, who knows. But there has been a rumor that they might title it Avengers Forever. Now, I can't guarantee that. I don't know that for sure, and you would be taking a chance on it, but I only paid $4.50 for this book that now you could see. So, for four under $5, and that includes shipping and handling, I think it's worth it to take the chance on. Whether you agree or not, I will leave that up to you. I got a couple of these, but I only wanted to show one, so you could get these pretty darn cheap on eBay. All right, next up, this book, again, another one I'm taking a chance on. I really like the cover. I saw this about a month or two ago on somebody else's channel. I don't remember who it is, so please forgive me. If you are that person or you know them, please give them a shout-out. But this is a book called Squarriors, uh, issue number one. This is from Devil's Duent. I'm not sure what that means. But a uh, $4.99 price tag. I paid a little bit more for it because I got it on eBay. I paid $9.99, so I don't know what will come out of this, but there is also a Teenage Mutant Ninja uh, Turtle variant homage, so you might want to check that one out as well. I have that as well, but I'm waiting for it. It should be here any day. I didn't want to wait just for that one book, so close a little look to this. Nice painted cover. Who knows if it's going to go anywhere, but for 10 bucks, I figured I'd take a chance on it, so... I'll leave that up to you to decide. All right, next one. Uh, this was actually an eBay exclusive variant. Uh, this is Avengers number one. Let me try and see if I could see if the lighting is better. Uh, it's going to be a lot worse when my cat <laughs> is trying to cover it. So this is Avengers number one. Uh, this is limited to 2,600 copies. And I paid five ninety nine a piece for these. Not a bad looking cover. Figured I'd take the chance for that price. I got two of those. All right, next up, this is Amazing Spider Man number seven ninety eight. This is one of the connecting variants. Um, I bought this a while ago. It was a pre sale. I just got it this week. So uh, it took a while for this person, and I still don't have them all because I'm still waiting for $7.99 and $800, which hasn't come out yet. But uh, I paid $25 for this book. Nice looking cover. And um, especially the Red Goblin, definitely worth taking the chance on. 
All right, this is one of those. Sometimes you're going to overpay things. It happens, but we need to take a chance. I don't really regret it because I buy comics because I love them. It's not always about the money, even though I mention the prices. This way my um, subscribers have a general idea of what to look for. But definitely do not pay the price I did because this was a pre-sale, another one that took a while for me to get. Uh, this is Rick and Morty number one. Uh, the, well, the Rick and Morty number one, the Vindic Vindicators. Uh, this is the ECC variant. There are only, how many of these made? Let me see. Uh, it doesn't say. I think somebody might have said 500 on an eBay, but I don't know if that's accurate or not. Let me know if you know about the print run. Uh, but this is a rare book. You can get this book for $30 and under now. I paid 60 Now, this is a 9.8 copy, but even still, um, this was back before it came out. I'm a huge Rick and Morty fan. Um, I don't regret it, but would I have liked to have spent 30 over the 60 Of course. So, that's sometimes you live and you learn. All right, this is one I heard about recently. I thought I'd take the chance on this one. Um, this is Infidel issue number one. This is the Virgin variant. Um, I'm not sure who makes this. If anybody knows what company makes this book, please let me know, because with the Virgin variant, you don't see anything. Um, there have been uh, room. Well, I'm not sure. Actually, it's been confirmed that this has been optioned for a movie. Whether it happens or not, who knows? But I figured I'd rather take the chance early than to miss out and end up spending a lot more money. So I only paid $25 for this book. Um... Whether you want to take the chance on it or not, I leave that up to you. Not everything's going to be for everyone. All right. This one is another one of the connecting variants. This is Amazing Spider-Man 798, the Crane Connecting Virgin variant. Um, only paid 50 bucks for this one. Again, this is another pre-order that I bought. And these people that do these pre-orders, they take their sweet time in actually delivering the comics. But absolutely love this cover. Beautiful artwork. The Virgin covers are starting to grow on me a little bit. But if you think about it, the companies are making more money by not having to spend extra money on the ink and the printing of the title. So they actually save money, believe it or not, with stuff like this. I always thought that was funny, especially like black and white variants and especially the... Uh, the Blank variants. I mean, they make the same amount of money, and they don't have to spend a lot to, you know, put the ink and everything on there. I always found that funny. All right, next up, this is a book I did not have. I have the almost entire run of the first print of Rick and Morty. I think I'm missing maybe issue four and five at this point. I have, like, the variant versions of them, but I want the first whole run of the first print. So this is Rick and Morty issue number three, and this is the first print. Uh, this one's in great shape. Um, I think I will eventually get this one graded, but I would say this is between a 9.6 and a 9.8. This book, even though it's the third issue and it's not anything really significant, it's just an early Rick and Morty because it basically caught the world by storm, this book sells between $75 and $80 raw. I only paid 40 so there are always deals to be found. This was somebody selling it with a buy it now. So check buy it now is because you'd be surprised at some of the specials you'll get. And some people that are just selling them to sell them. Uh, this is the last of the newer books. And then we got some Silver Age go goodness I want to share. This one I have two of. Now, I didn't. these are the only books that I bought with Action Comics 1000. I didn't even buy the regular issue because there were just too many of them. And there were way too many variants. So I'm not one of those people, especially not anymore, that's going to collect a lot of variants. But I did like this one, so I took the chance. This is the Del Otto Virgin variant. Absolutely love this. This is homage to the Christopher Reeve version of Superman and uh, the Fortress of Solitude. Really like this one. Looks really good. Seen this one selling for about 70 or 80 on eBay. I paid forty-seven ninety-seven a piece, because that includes shipping and handling. So that was the only one. Really thick book, so these should come out high grade. All right, so now let's get into some of the Silver Age goodness. And I think there's one Bronze Age, but eh, it doesn't matter. 
This is a book I've always wanted, but been very expensive. But now that the Suicide Squad, Squad movie has definitely gone and people don't really focus on it anymore. I got this one for pretty cheap. Uh, looks like right here, somebody was hungry and decided I'm going to eat the book. <laughs> so that is a big piece missing. Uh, there is writing on the code there. They used to do that with the uh, those grease pencils. And there is tape all the way up and down the spine. So it is a lower grade. This would probably be a 2.0, but even for the price I paid for this book, because this book still goes for hundreds of dollars, I only paid, this is Flash number 117, by the way, which is the first appearance of Boomerang, I'm not sure if I said that, but I only paid $46.55, so to get this book, even in lower grade, for under $50, I'm perfectly fine with that. I wouldn't have got it if this would have went so far down, it would have covered the name, so I can live with that, even though I'm not thrilled about it. But again, for the price I paid, I'm not going to complain. And who likes to complain anyway? Right, another lower grade book, but I have several of these. But if I see a deal on them, I am going to snatch them up. Uh, this is Captain America issue number 117. Uh, this is a Bronze Age book, an early Bronze Age book. You can tell because of the 15 cents is pretty much right after 1970 is when they changed it to about 15 cents, which is the Bronze Age beginning. But the first appearance of um, Falcon, it's got some rips here. There's some rips on the back. There's a split from here all the way down. Not the best book, but the cover still fairly, presents fairly well. Dry cleaning would help clean this up a little bit, but I wouldn't waste the money getting this one graded. I only paid $56.75 for that book. So for under $60 for a uh, first appearance of a pretty key Avenger, I'll take the chance. Two more. All right. Next one. This is, I think, my fourth copy of this book. It's another book that just keeps finding me. So I'll, if I can find deals, I'm going to get them. Uh, this is Strange Tales is issue number 115, which is the origin of Doctor Strange and the second appearance of Sandman. So this is definitely a key issue, especially since, you know, Doctor Strange has a pretty key uh, role in the Avengers movie. Now... When I first saw these staples, because if you look here, there's a staple right there, and there's a staple right here. I thought when I got it, oh, maybe somebody restapled this. But I did open it up, and I found it's just sometimes there's misprints where they'll put the staple in the wrong spot. And the way you can tell is you open it up to the centerfold. If somebody restapled it, you'll see the original two holes from the staples. So when I opened it, I saw that these were the only ones there. So that was a manufacturer's error. That is not somebody restapling it. So I was very happy about that. But it pays to double check just to make sure because if it was stapled and I was not told about that, I would have definitely returned my money. But again, another book I paid a decent price for, uh, got a good discount, paid $76.08. So $76 for this book. Definitely a key issue. Key issue. I would say it's probably around a 3.0. Even in that grade, definitely worth the price. All right, but last but not least, uh, this is my third or fourth copy of this book. Uh, back in 1998, this is one of the books of mine that got stolen, but I have more than I originally did, so I cannot complain. And that, last but not least, is X-Men 94. Now, this book, you could see the colors have faded a little bit. Probably somebody had this up on their wall. So, I mean, this, like, for example, this is supposed to be red. This is supposed to be red. It's almost got, like, a uh, orangey kind of color to it. So, I tell people all the time, don't put your comics on your walls, especially if they get exposed to sunlight, because it will fade the covers, and that will damage them. Now, right here, there is some kind of burn mark. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't go through the page at all. It's just some kind of stain, but I can live with that. And right here, there is a piece of the cover missing, but it only affects the cover. But overall, still presents pretty well. Spine looks pretty darn good. Uh, a few minor hairline ticks, but not many. I would say this is probably a 4.5 range. There is some um, color breaks along here because it's got a darker um, background, so those will show easily. So yeah, so roughly about a 4.5, but still, and that's a couple of hundred dollars you can get that for. 
I only paid $86.55. And of course, this is when the new X-Men officially continue. They begin their X-Men run in the X-Men. Because before this, there was reprints for a while. And they almost, you know, canceled X-Men. So the new X-Men definitely saved it. So that is it. That is my comic book run. Hope you appreciated it. If you want to give it a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to say what color piece of paper this is, post that in the comment section. Leave your comments. I always appreciate that, and I always respond to each and every one of them. And if you're not subscribed, please do hit subscribe. Just don't hit the person next to you because we know that's not nice. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next video. And now we have a Zoom. All I want to do is zoom, a zoom, zoom, zoom.